slipshod. Some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow and longer for berries to appear. Can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Hmm. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! Yeah. <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Wanna join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still gotta add. One hundred drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good afternoon! Hot soup right out of the oven! Thanks! Thank you! And what a great game! But we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win! I love playing skip ball, it's so fun! And I love this soup too! Ugh. It's amazing! <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you! There! Gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them, but they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? Oh. We believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one, too? <gasps> them again. There they are. Rooney, wait! <laughs> Find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shod, <gasps> I found them. Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shod magic. So somebody made a messy spell, and now we all have to suffer. Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them, and only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning, Vaggy. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Rudy, go. I'll hold them off. Done with the flowers. Now 100 drops of rain, though. Children, if you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> the Courageous Feet. It's been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> An hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and I can go even wowser than that, too. Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left head, and the other two. You all handle the tail. What if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's get going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! We're coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the leshy in the spring. And in the summer. So, here come our star students, who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean fight. And defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him, too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fires. He won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th. Oh, Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Uh, 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 or the Heroic Capture. Oh, the Sneaky Invisible Princess. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> he didn't go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are, and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Rooney, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. <laughs> A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly something must have happened. Oh well, perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. in a cage, but the dragon didn't do anything wrong. Stop! The dragon's good! Look, over there. Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, 
like a soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. That's what it's looking for. And that's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's, dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only three heads. Am I the fourth head? <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width, and on all sides. Don't! Kids? Why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. We made it all up. She was looking for this. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned. Your lesson. A hard one. But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. That dragons are actually very friendly once you get to know them. The Six-Legged Beast As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now, with my word. Oh, Helen, that spell is from a fairy tale. I doubt it will... Wow, we've worked! They're going to write about us in the Hero News. And you had doubts. Well, some stories are based on reality. All right, Chubby, fly. I will visit you soon, I promise. Why don't we go together? After all, it's not safe to wander the woods alone. But we've already studied who lives in the woods, like badgers and other animals, such as birds. The only scary one there is Baba Yaga. <gasps> oh! Stop still. I'm still. Now you can save me. From a reliable... <clears throat> from a not-so-reliable source, we have been recently informed of an incident. It appears that in the woods there may be a monster with huge teeth that roars. Ooh! And three, four, maybe six legs. Six legs? Not six. Perhaps eight. Maybe more. In order to protect our students and Baba Yaga, we have placed highly effective protection traps within the forest to, well, trap, we hope, to capture the... The hundred-legged beast? The cause of this commotion. Mr. Immortal and I shall go to the forest to examine and confirm this recent phenomenon. Or to prove it wrong. Us too! Take us too! Watch out, thousand-legged monster! My dear future heroes, don't even think about it. To keep you all safe and inside, we will be placing a new spell on the windows and doors to keep them locked. Today's class shall be rescheduled to next Tuesday. Now then, where is that special rag of ours? The one that erases spells. Mm. Why did they leave all of us behind? Yeah, we'd have shown it a thing or two. I think it might be crying for help. You're right. The hungry monster wants us to help by being dinner. Not at all. Six-legged beasts are quite gentle. It might be in trouble. We have to help it. Helen, we've never studied six-legged beasts before. As far as we know, they only exist in fairy tales. So it's best to stay inside, away from the roaring. Chappy! No one believes me, but we have to help the six-legged beast. The professor uses this rag to erase spells from the blackboard. I'm sure it will also work on the locking spell. Thank you, Ch 
Chubby. Brave men of Wondermont, forward! <laughs> and brave women, too. Hey, it's open. <gasps> Helen, she escaped. Oh, no way. We have to go save her. And if we capture the monster, that's two heroic deeds. Yeah, so this is where that draft was coming from. It's fixed. No need to thank me. Just remember that I saved your lives, or you'd be in big trouble. According to the book I read, the six-legged beasts are very friendly and gentle. They only roll when they're in trouble. But where is it? Oh! I found it! Oh, you have a splinter. Let me help you. Please don't be scared, dear Six Paws. There, there. This will be quick, okay? Helen! Hey, monster! Release her! I, Vasco of El Dorado, challenge you to battle! Oh no! Please stop! Wait, don't go! What about our heroic rescue? Hmm, we've already checked most of the traps. So far, the only thing that we've caught is Baba Yaga's hut. Yes, I haven't found anything yet either. I am beginning to suspect that we may be the only ones here. Aside from the local fauna, did Baba Yaga make it up? <laughs> Now that we've caught him, our names will be in here. Ah! As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Quickly, Professor. Helen fell in the pit. And so did the monster we defeated? Maybe? No. He's no monster. He's a sweet six horse. Phenomenal. But we must count his legs to be certain. Four, five, and six. Clockwise, there are six, and my counterclockwise as well. It is most certainly an authentic Icelandish Hexapaurus. That's exactly right, Professor. An extremely rare beast and absolutely harmless creature. <laughs> In fact, they are so timid that nobody has ever tamed one before. I'll come visit you sometime. <gasps> it should be impossible, yet somehow Helen has tamed it. That is the power of her kindness. It makes the impossible possible. Your kindness truly knows no bounds. <laughs> I think that I will stay here. Or then you'll have even more chances to show me how kind and hospitable you are. Oh dear. Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right. Stop ordering us around. You're bossy. Well, clearly without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine, then. Maybe I would be better off, too. With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve. And yet this is how they treat me. Huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> and soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough. I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls, I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
no. How clumsy. Don't worry. I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Daria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. <laughs> Girls, what's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror or we'll be switched back again. Well then, let's replace Helen. <gasps> Hooray! It's hide and seek! My favorite! First to find Helen wins! <sighs> to get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. <sighs> oh, Helen! You who? Where are you? We just want to play. Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? Huh. Thank you for getting me out of there. It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away. Not yet. Toma, hold up the mirror. But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this. We wanted a different Daria. And it was our fault. What do we do now? Hey, you, Mira! Give Doria back! We only want our Doria! Give her back! Oh, Doria! You're back. back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only <laughs> want you. Spell Swap. Why must every day start with getting up? It's so unfair. <laughs> I don't sound that way. Rooney, stop that right now. Enough of your impressions. According to my schedule, there is no time to have any fun today. Hey, sounds like Daria. <laughs> Girls, quiet down. That's enough. An excellent idea from someone not in her seat. I'm sorry about that. Just trying to have a bit of fun. <laughs> Well, I think you'll enjoy the lesson for today. It's also fun. We shall learn how to master a blending spell. With this magic, we will combine two of your powers into one unique spell. The results are fun and surprising. We will begin by forming pairs. There are five princesses, so one of you shall work with me. Mm, this is the worst. It's best to practice together where you won't be disturbed. <laughs> Shall we go, partner? A, B, 
see? Is that right? <clears throat> Stupid book. Why ever did I steal it? <laughs> Be quiet. I didn't ask you. I stole it because I need it. It's the Wisdom Land spell book, after all. At least I think it is. I won't know until I read it. Their language is tricky. <gasps> That's right, her. She's from Wisdom Land. Now I don't need to learn the language. <laughs> together we two make, together we two blend. <gasps> What's this? Oh my, delicious. Oh, how delicious. <gasps> oh, hooray, it's like they're <sighs> dancing. A dash of magic cast with a... You're doing it all wrong. A dash of magic cast with a friend. Mm-hmm. This was supposed to be fun. What? I said a dash of magic cast with a friend. Together we make two, together we blend. We have to say it together. Is that correct? Whoa. Rooney, you look just like me. What do you mean? You look just like me. <gasps> we switched bodies. But Doria, how do we switch back? Doria, I need your help. And this is not a request. <gasps> Wait, come back. Doria! I'm coming, Rooney. Delicious. It's so fun blending our magic. Oh, Rooney, why the hurry? Our spell's gone wrong. I switched bodies with Rooney. Then Baba Yaga appeared. And she took Rooney. Because she looks like me and I look like her, you see? You know? <laughs> <laughs> My, you sound just like Daria. Even more than this morning. I am Daria. <laughs> this is an amazing prank, even for you, Rooney. However, does it work? Ugh. Where's Marlene? Sorry, that trick won't work on Marlene. Why not? Because you pretended to be Daria already this morning. And Marlene as well. You're not Daria. No, I'm Rooney. Rooney, Rooney! Enough already. Stop. You're from Wisdom Land, aren't you? I got this book as a gift. I'm sure it has strong spells, but I need it translated. And you know how. Now read it to me. <laughs> I won't. And you can't make me. Oh, can't I? Hmm. <gasps> it's stuck! What did you do now? It'll stay that way until you read it to me. <laughs> Stop! You'll damage the book! Hmm. All right, you don't want to help me? Then I'll make you help. A tickling spell will change your mind. <laughs> Yay! You came to save me! Why are you here? You made me waste a tickling spell on a perfectly good brew. Why do you need that book? <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me? Very well. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> good job. After all, we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Doria, thank you. What for? Because you came to my rescue. Thanks. Oh, it was nothing. Hang on. Wouldn't you rescue me? Of course I would. <laughs> hey, what sort of crazy spells were in that spooky book anyway? Actually, it's a joke book. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't help you. We didn't believe you. You had to face Baba Yaga alone. Oh, this lesson wasn't as fun as I thought. Could someone please switch us back? Hmm. Yes, of course. To reverse the spell, you must first reverse the words, like so. Now you try it. Make two we together. Together, blend we two. <sighs> Rooney, Daria, you've both mastered the spell at a very high level. As a reward for your teamwork, you both get... An A. Wait, it didn't work. Just look at me. I'm still Rooney. <gasps> <laughs> look at your faces. Rooney, we've had enough of your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here. Please help me. Won't 
Somebody please get me out of here! There! This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good! Cut! Rewind! Show it to me! Playback! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it! This looks better than I'd hoped. You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The magical task generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? Uh... It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. They'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yes! Uh. <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Oh, girls. No need to argue. Princesses. This is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better, knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the magical task generator. And the assignment will go to... Rooney and Dari, it's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm. Just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> the bottle. Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? Gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh. Want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Bind us and wind us. <gasps> well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars. Just you wait, brats. Hey, Falcon, Falcon. It's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look how daring you've become. Doria, choke the spell, quick. <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no. It shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Uh, yeah. I'm in charge now. Hmm. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! <sighs> and girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready! I'm going to give them a fright! Hey, stop crying! Beg me to set you free at once! <gasps> what? Yeah. I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Ah! Bind us on this! <laughs> bind us and bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! <laughs> Unwind us! Hey, Hut! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! Doria, stop her! 
Take a deep breath and feel the energy. Then push the energy out. <laughs> you can't do it. Don't try if you don't know how. Concentrate. It's only you, your intentions, and your power. <laughs> We passed the level! Doria! Rudy! Right here. Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They could be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding the teachers. Ah, your pumpkin is growing wonderfully. We'll try turning it into a carriage later, like Cinderella. <laughs> Look what I grew. No one will be able to sleep well on this pea pod. No, no, you must make the peas ordinary. Fairy tale standards. Hmm. Interesting. Huh? What have we here? Uh. Well, these plants are invisible eggplants. Invisible? Hmm, I figured as much. A Forest Beauty Cosmetics magazine. You're too young to concern yourself with such things. Oh, but my grandmother has a birthday coming up, and she loves this sort of thing. Oh, while kindness is admirable, you're in class right now. Please try to focus on your studies. <gasps> they really grew. Mm -hmm. They're ripe, too. Well done, Daria. Professor Grunwald will be thrilled. He thought this variety of apple was lost forever. Who's that? Professor Grunwald? A professor of magical botany. I'm so glad Owl kept those old seeds. Girls, Daria managed to grow rejuvenating apples. Oh, aren't mine as good? Why, Dorma, whatever do you mean? Your apples are wonderful as well. They're just like your fairy tale. Try my apples. Mmm. These apples taste like no other. They're very special. Perfect for apple pie. What do you think? A rejuvenating apple lotion. Grandmother would be thrilled. I'll only pick a few. There you uh, are. Where were you? I, uh, uh... Never mind. Let's go. I've got the sugar right here. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a real feast. The girls have done a wonderful job. May I please have this piece? Mm. Mmm, this is magnificent. These apples are... They're from the magic apple tree. Oh. 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 <gasps> hey, give me some more. That pie was the bomb. What's happened to them? I did this. It's all my fault. My rejuvenating apples got into the pie. Oh, no. And I was so excited to find them. We didn't have enough. I don't understand. Why did you pick them? It wasn't many. I only picked a few. Hey, let's play tag. There's a teacher's meeting, and it's starting now. Ah, what kind of meeting? A fairy tale optic session. Professor Grunwald is waiting. <gasps> what should we do? It'll be fine. Take the kids to the office. Store the meeting for half an hour. And I'll look for a way to reverse the spell. Wondermont, please come in. Wondermont, can you hear me? <laughs> oh. If things go wrong, I can create some static. Deal. Here we go. Did you request a video call? Did something happen? Mr. Immortal, I'm listening. Whoa, you need something or what? Tell them about our garden, how it's totally off the hook. Make it sound really cool. Right, got it. Okay. Our garden is slain at Wonder Mom's uh -huh. school. Our botany skills totally rule. The plant things are growing. Magical Norn. Rock and the berry uh -huh. yeah, Don't stop. Our garden is hot. Now our students will report on their successful botany projects. Uh, oh, uh, we've achieved tremendous success with uh, growing these princess peas here. And a pumpkin carrot. And rejuvenating apples. Rejuvenating apples? But that variety died off ages ago. The scientific community will not tolerate fraud. Claims that cannot be backed up with proof will result in the school being disqualified and its license revoked. 
I've got your proof. Our teachers tested out the apples for, uh, scientific reasons. Experimenting on themselves? Such admirable dedication. And I assume the antidote was prepared in advance? But of course. Uh, uh, hello, hello. We can't hear you. Uh, it's a bad connection. Uh, what? Oh, dear. Phew, close one. Well, you done? Almost. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Ta da! Who shall go first? Me! Let me try. It could make you older. But still, we mustn't experiment on the children. Didn't work. The potion needs to cool off. Oh, you're back now. <laughs> well, due to my immortality, these things don't actually work on me. In this case, I wanted to see how you girls would get yourselves out of such a, uh, uh, such a curious predicament. And you did well. Where's my mummy? One moment. Let's get back to rescuing the teachers. Helen the Fair, if you would, please. Oh, thank you. I was quite thirsty. Mr. Immortal, can we please leave the professor this way? Look, he's so cute and playful. <laughs> <laughs> and review paragraphs 9 through 49. Wrong one. Ah, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you should delete... My childhood has come to an end. <gasps> the antidote worked. <gasps> oh, no, Lisa. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry. It's only a mask. You see? <laughs> Magic paint box. No way. We're not sprucing up our dorm with any of this. <sighs> what about me? Don't you think I would look cool in your dormitory? <gasps> Helen, you're the best at spells today. <laughs> Doing so well. It won't be long before we're great wizards. <laughs> great wizards, you say? I'm shocked by your insolence. Soon we'll even be able to defeat Baba Yaga. Oh! <laughs> now that's a bit too much. You clearly need taking down a peg or two. <gasps> that painting, I saw it move. Hachi, you frightened us. <laughs> you can move in and out of paintings? Awesome! Hello? I know the perfect way to spruce up our dome. I will paint the picture of us to hang on the wall of our room. Hmm, that's not such a bad idea. My own painting collection. <laughs> Girls, take some blank canvases and bring them to our dome. There are some paints here as well. Shall we? Yes, I've almost run out of red in my set. Whoa, Pink Foster. I told you to hold the ball in your hands. Goalkeepers only touch the ball with their hands. I'm a forward. Oh, you can lower your foot now. Hooray! Huh? Where did Rooney's ball go? I finished painting it and then it disappeared. How strange. Once I finish painting something, then it disappears and floats into the canvas. These paints are enchanted. Enchanted? By who? This person. No! Stop it! Don't finish it! Baba Yaga. Let's take the painting to Mr. Immortal. We'll get magic credit for it. What's that? What is she doing? <gasps> Ch 
take me to Mr. Immortal? <gasps> I don't think so. Why did you try to trap us in a painting? To make you stop thinking that soon you'll be better wizards than me. You've no idea who you're competing with. You're really good at drawing. But to finish the portrait, you still need to make a few more brush strokes. And I know how to fix this. I've got an extra brush right here. I'll take you home and then hang you up on my wall so you can observe a truly great wizard at work. <laughs> How can we get out of here? We're stuck. We need a magic cloth. It's not working. Here. Let me rub harder. It won't work, you know. Rub all you want. You're not going anywhere. My cloth was magical, and yours is some ordinary junk. <laughs> Time to take you to your new home. We need another way out. If only we could move in and out of paintings like Ochi. Theoretically, I think we can. Since we're in here, then we should all be able to move from one painting to another. That's right. What? You ran away? Come back. Come back here right now. Where did you go? We need to find Aji while still looking out for Baba Yaga. Aji, help us! We need the cloth on the dorm room floor to wash away these paintings of us. Aji, we need you. We'll explain later. We'll be okay now. So you prefer a landscape? No! Hideous! How dare you! Get out of that painting! I'm not hanging this on my wall! <gasps> all right, fine. You beat me this time. But just so you know, you're all still terrible wizards. <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Archie. Thank, Thank you, you, Archie. Archie. And thank you as well to the widely smiling Mr. Immortal. You helped us a lot, too. Now I think I know which painting we should hang in our dorm. <laughs> <laughs> the Wondermont Boomerang. Cat's twist. Woo! Watch this. Sauté and fuerte. Like a real ballerina. You've reached new heights. And now this. My signature move, the Rooney Double Flying Rainbow Move. One, two. Hey, hey, hey! One, two, three, four. Run! <gasps> did you see that? He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it, and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? El Dorados don't know how to be scared. <laughs> Keep it up, you're doing great! Do one more round! 
Hmm, look at that leap, like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Enhancer, of course. With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero. Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. Huh. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, oh, what's happening? Uh. Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. Uh. Uh. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just... Wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea. <laughs> yes, we don't often have days like this at Wondermont when everything is so quiet and peaceful. And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang. So it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Woohoo! Have some decency! I guess you saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case, why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your Eldorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was really. So cool. Well done, Vasco! What a feat! I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Our Daria. Vanishing Raven. Not much is known about them. But they are known to be shy, so it's very important that we're quiet. Surrender, beast! <gasps> You'll never escape a hero! Could you please go and practice being heroes somewhere else? Can't you see I'm in the middle of some important research? Daria, join us! I want to play too! Us too! <laughs> Great! Now I can't do my research. Meal time! Here! Hey, Daria, what's that? It's an invitation to a special school for highly gifted magic users. You will never leave us, right? I will. 
then nobody will be able to distract me from my research. Sweeping, swabbing, magic broom. Fly inside and clean my room. <laughs> work either. Now, what was the other spell again? I haven't used it in a while. Don't make that face. The Immortal has a book on housekeeping. I'm sure it must contain some cleaning spells. We'll have you cleaned up in no time. So you just wait here. I will need to get into the school. How do I do that? Hmm, I don't exactly look like a princess. Oh, but I can become one. Mix some mushrooms from the glade. Brew some magic for this trade. I'm the princess, you're the witch. One, two, three, and now we switch. <gasps> ah! <gasps> What's going on? Baba Yaga must have done this. How will I get back into school like this? Gloria, are you really leaving? Leaving? Of course not. I just got here. Uh, for class. Good afternoon, my dear students. It's time to begin class. Our topic today is reversal spells. I will need two volunteers. Pick me. Could I be reversed first? And me. Second to first, reverse. Uh. Uh. Anyone else want to try? Me next. Second to first, uh. reverse. Uh. Daria, that wasn't very nice. Careful, Daria. <laughs> it's Baba Yaga. What is she up to? I've got this. Second to first, reverse. There. Such mastery of the lesson. Did you see that? Second to first, reverse. <laughs> Second to first, reverse. Second to first, reverse. Now then, Baba Yaga has been persistent today in her attempts to break into the school. So if you could, please, stand guard tonight, Archie. No offense, but I think you need a spring cleaning. I have an idea. I'll clean you right up, and you can help me with something. And now we're even. Thank you. Oh, I made it inside. Now I need to find that book with counter spells. Found it. No, not that one. There. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. Yes, it worked. <gasps> Fine. It's time to start looking for a couple of cleaning spells. <gasps> you should have stayed in the forest. Sorry, but they don't teach magic in the forest. What's all the commotion? <gasps> it's Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga! She turned into me! And I can prove I'm real because I know today's lesson. What spell did we learn? <gasps> it was a reversal spell. What makes you think you can turn into my student? I'll send you somewhere so far away that you can't interfere with our lessons anymore. The moon! <laughs> Surrender, whoever you... aren't? I had a feeling that wasn't really Daria earlier. Well, admit it. Which of you is the fake one? <laughs> Lisa! Hold on! I've got you! always wanted to go to the moon. Daria, I'm sorry that we disturbed your research. How do you know that I'm the real one? Because our Daria wouldn't hesitate to save me. <laughs> you came to the moon too? It's not the moon, it's our forest. I wanted to scare Baba Yaga. And, on that note, second to first, reverse. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm, you know, it's kind of nice. I could live on the moon. <laughs> Daria, I thought you wanted to go to that school. Our school is the only one that I want to go to. 
My friends and teachers make this the best school ever. <laughs>